Hello, this is Fluid Dynamics, a water-based synthesizer that you control with your mind. I'm Althea Pergakis, and I did the, um, the conceptualization for it, um, and major fabrication on the first six iterations of it, and minor fabrication on the seventh. My name is Gino Sarisa, and I did the audio and some of the brain interfacing for this project. Um, so, Fluid Dynamics was originally built without a, the EEG component for uh, the Oh My Ears Foundation's Epic Instrument Maker Challenge, uh, which was a competition in which um, people built sort of hackery DIY instruments. Uh, we ended up winning that competition. Uh, in the aftermath of this, our third collaborator, Tammy Chapman, approached us with the idea to integrate the EEG component in order to create a more um, in order to create more of an instrument that you would really have to master to play and that would be more unique to each individual. How it works is Fluid Dynamics gets the sound uh, of a volume of water from a hydrophone and then it resynthesizes that sound using data from the EEG. So for example, it gets the uh, alpha and beta waves and those are used to control parameters that affect the tonality of the sound. Um. And for this, we built most of our components for it, including the hydrophones, the stands, and all of the sounds are generated from scratch. Um, and here it is in action. Dynamic sound device, which is actually using this EEG headset over here that you can see out the FLB. And that's the uh, mind wave to the mobile. If you look over here, it's not actually yeah, it's not actually hooked on anyone's head right now. But when it is, you can see the meditation state and an attention state fluctuate. Your meditations are alpha, your attentions are beta, and that actually controls the the tone and the actual pitch of, of the music. So let's see that in action. How's this thing work? Would you put this on, please? Would you Would you mind doing it? So should we hear something now? Uh, it takes a little bit of time to connect with the Bluetooth and for you know people to kind of relax for a minute. So it'll come on here in a second. So you have to meditate. Do you meditate Bluetooth at all? Bluetooth factor, relaxing. Have you ever meditated? I think it just, yeah, it was, there we go. Thank you. There we go. So that sound's actually being created by her moving the magnet under the water. Yeah, it's making the sound. Um, it looks like it's rocking. Yeah, because I, I moved this because it's falling off my head. Yeah, but it's uh, the sound is generated from the um, from the movement and the contact in the water. So a lot of uh, all of the bass tones you're hearing are based on um, the reverberations in the water picked up by the aquatic plane. So there's two, you know, qualities. There's the like the, the tangible aspect of it, and then obviously the tonal, the pitch is controlled by the brainwave frequency. So there's two different types of interface. 